with us, there wasn't a whole lot of creativity, as you could imagine, with children. Uh, so I would have to say the old standard necktie, you know, no thought, easy. A perfect day would be a day when the kids, whether they're fighting or crying or whatever, at the end of the day, I get a smile and an I love you, and it just turns everything around. I always carry photos of my children. I try to keep the most current photos. I mean, I also have videos and a lot of other stuff, but I always have a photo or two. The man who most changed my life was my father. And lost him when I was 16 years old, but because of the impact he had on my life up to that point when I needed to be more mature and become you know, an adult, it was much easier than if I had not had him in my life. The most memorable moment I have with my dad is when he was teaching me how to ride um, a bicycle. And it was the first time I was on the bicycle and without training wheels. And I'm pedaling at this elementary school around the corner. He's yelling at me, put on the brakes, put on the brakes. And I froze up and actually ran into the bumper of a car. But I didn't fall and didn't hurt myself. And that just stands out in my mind. I've always celebrated fatherhood with my family growing up as a day where dad kind of relaxed and didn't have to do anything and I continue that at home. I love to just take the day and relax, reflect, and just be thankful.